Hey everybody, my name is Patrick Powers. This video is for App Development 2. And what I wanted to talk to you about is an application idea that I've come up with called Phone Decal. Essentially, it is card decals for your phone. Um, so basically what I'm gonna go through really quickly is a brief introduction to myself. Um, what is Phone Decal? Who is this for? What the application features are? explain to you a little bit about the flowchart, how it functions, the timeline of the project, uh, what I'm going to do within the milestones, and then also the overall cost. So who am I? Uh, again, my name is Patrick Powers. Uh, you can see me in this image right here along with my wife and two dogs. Um, I'm currently working as a manager of eight financial aid professionals. Uh, I did graduate um, from the University of Georgia with a business administration and finance degree. Um, but I am now in the mobile de de excuse me, development degree um, where my passion lies and I am very interested in working alongside clients and investors uh, with pretty much like-minded uh, visions and innovative innovations in terms of application and business development. So what is phone decal? So if you've ever seen those decals in the back of cars that people love to put on or potentially some people hate to put on. Um, you see them all over the place. A lot of people have them on their cars. It's very popular. Some of them are family. Some of them are that salt life. Uh, and everyone has different types of decals, but they like to customize their car. Well, why not customize your phone? And that's what Android's all about. So customizing your phone's home screen with widgets. Uh, the widgets are the phone decals, and there's any number of potential decals that you can choose from. Um, in this example right here you see on the screen, it's a quick family, a father, a mother, uh, two kids, and you can see the, the images are characterized as to the way the family might uh, represent themselves. So who is this intended audience? Um, the intended audience is potentially you know, a family, uh, a family member. So for example here, I've, I've typed up Mary. She is basically a mom, early 20s to maybe 30s. So she has a family, a kid, a wife. Uh, she has a husband. And what she loves is she loves to take care of her kids. I imagine her driving around um, with her family decals on the back of her car. So she's also very tech savvy in the, in the fact that she is her early 20s and 30s. Um, and always on her phone calling people. She's a stay-at-home mom that again family comes first. Um, also you have potentially the social teen. The teen that loves to be on the phone is always um, socially interacting with her friends through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it might be. Um, and she loves the whole idea of also um, basically again interacting with her friends through her mobile device. So being able to create these decals, which the second intention of the decal is to actually be a shortcut um, to actually, e um, sorry, text and phone call uh, your friends, family, or whoever the, the decal is a shortcut to. So the main features of the, the, the application is the, de the decal. The decal is a widget. So you do place the widgets on your home screen um, and you connect those widgets to either your contacts or you can add a name and phone number to that widget to be able to actually have that one touch dialing uh, convenience. Um, because the main focus of the application is the widget, um, the main application is really there to support the widget. It's a how to, it's a subscribe to our emailing list, um, as well as there's two versions. There's the light version and then the pro version. The light version has limited decals. The pro version has any number of decals. And within the light version, there is a screen that allows uh, a user to be able to see what the pro version has and the amazing decals it might have within it. This is the overall flow of the application. Again, the, the main purpose is the widget. Um, the app functionality is based, you open up the app, there is the, the icon, or I'm sorry, the logo. Uh, there's three buttons, one is a how-to, it gives you a video of how to use the widgets with some step-by-step -step instructions because not everyone does know how to use a widget, but if they did know how, they'd be more likely to actually use it. Uh, you also have a button for the pro version, um, basically snapshot, so you'd be able to scroll through all of the um, icons that might be associated with the pro version. 
Uh, and lastly, an email button that allows you to email directly to Phone Decal. Uh, so you can actually subscribe to an emailing list that anytime updated widgets come available, will email you and let you know. Now with the actual widget, uh, it's, it's fairly simple, but in terms of what the capabilities are and how it functions, there's more screens. Um, this main screen is the widget configuration. So once you actually find the widget within your phone, you actually load it to the home screen, it'll pop up this configuration screen. You have the name, the phone number, and the choice of widgets, which would be a scrollable view that you can keep on scrolling until you find the right widget. You also have a little icon here that allows you to connect this instead of typing it in, potentially to a contact with your phone. It would import that data right here, select that widget. That widget will then be dropped onto the home screen. In the transition period, you'll have ad placements for the light version, um, and it'll drop the icon on. When you go to actually need the widget, you'll click on the widget. It will open up a window that says, do you want to call uh, with an icon, of course, um, or text. By clicking on one of those icons, will open up the appropriate um, intent of what you're trying to do. So that is the main overview. Um, again, there is an ad placement here. And then within the main application, there is ad placement at the very bottom of each of the, the sections. And that is for the light version, the paid version, that would all go away and you do just have access to more widget icons that you can customize your phone with. Again, this is a more detailed explanation of what I just kind of went through in terms of the main screen, the how-to, the pro version to get an insight as to what it might look like. This is again the widget flow as to going back and forth and the actual flow of how the widget will function. The time frame of having this would this complete would be about four weeks. Uh, the first week would be the planning, development, uh, design of the application, which you're looking at right now. Uh, the second week is really getting started. Um, it's getting the basic functionality so that you can navigate through the the application appropriately. A third week is really about creating that widget and making it very functional as well as tightening up all the code. The fourth week is all about final touches to make sure that, that everything is put together properly. So the second week is milestone one, the third week is milestone two, and again, we're really just trying to um, build the basic concept of phone decal and allow there to be basic functionality with the application. The second week, the second milestone uh, is about building on that basic functionality while building the widget side of things. Um, it may not be 100% perfectly done in terms of design, but the functionality at the end of week two should be complete. Week, week three, or I should say week four, um, the final week is really when we tie it all together. So what is the cost of this? Well, it's roughly about 80 hours programming, 20 hours design, 20 hours testing, and it will take one developer myself as well as a designer, excuse me, designer um, all in one. And the total cost is roughly about $4,000. Uh, and if you want to break down to an hourly amount, roughly about $33 an hour to actually complete this project. The return on investment, how are we going to make money with this? Um, well, the light version has the ads. The ad is going to be highlighted every single time you put a new widget on. So every single widget uh, a user actually intends to place on their home screen, an ad will pop up. Uh, when you delete a widget, it just allows you to add more. So the hope is that people can continually add and delete widgets as they choose or update them. Um, and that's where the ads will come into play. Also, you do have the ads in the main um, application, but that will be visited less as a, as a user gets more comfortable with um, the application. Now, the whole idea is to drive people to the Pro version. Uh, the Pro version is simply priced at 99 cents, uh, with Google roughly taking 30% of those profits. Um, a break-even point just with Pro version alone would be about 5,700 5, downloads. But again, we do have the light version as well, which I would intend um, on making sure that that is downloaded just as much. Um, to really drive the ad revenue as well as the potential pro version revenue as well. So that is Phone Decal, and I am very much looking forward to completing the development and design of this application, uh, and I hope you are on board too. Thanks so much.